with the return of the anime coming back again for this year and alongside with the manga seemingly finally now about to like end all of it after all this time we've been waiting for for the manga with its final arc one of his longest things that gintama has ever done i finally caught back up to the manga of gintama and i at least wanted to do a video to, uh, to this and all that and just kind of let you guys know what i think about this everything that's been going on there's been quite a few things that's been going on since then and also as well more of the reasons why i just stopped talking about the manga for a while as well because Ever since this video, it's been quite a long time since I've done anything really Gintama related. The last kind of few things I did that wasn't this season of stuff was talking about 2017's like sort of the like adaptations, talking about the first few little bits and all that with like the Mad Stars and like everything to do with the Rakio arc. And so, what happened? Like, why did you just stop talking about the manga for Gintama? Like, it, like, and I'll tell you like more reasons why exactly that was one of the things I, I stopped doing for the most part. And like, and it's kind of the little sad truth about it is the fact that the manga got pretty slow. I'm not gonna like when I I always talk about how much I love the series and that is like I will still consider that it is my favorite thing like in Shonen Jump. I will fully admit that I think I'm like quite a hardcore fan for it. But even I will say and all that. For a little while, like, I would even, when I was reading it, I was like, man, some of this stuff, like, must have been reading weekly and all that, must have been really slow to go through, like, and I'm mainly saying because, like, this arc is a treat for, like, an entire Gintama fan and all that, and I cannot wait for this to be whole, fully animated, because some of the stuff that they are doing in this, where I mean, not just one, like, but two, the three, the four, like, every snitz every single character from every art from all of the characters that you know and love are coming back for this finale like you've not only have you got like you know the Mimara Gumi and all that you've got Nobumi and her crew coming into there you've got Gintoki Yoriza you got old man Gengai you got the girl from the movie you've got the whole exorcist coming into it as well you got them into it you add that you got people from like you know Yoshihara and Flames you've got Jogas you've got Every single character that you can think of, like Prince Hatter, like, like that old creepy man all out on the corner that you can think of and all that, the, the weird little like, fucking demon with a flower on his head, like everyone is getting their time to shine in this arc and that's a very rare treat where you don't get this in a manga because Gintama has one of like, if anything, I'd say one of the like most enjoyable supporting cast in the entire series where not a lot of these characters get a lot of time to shine, but some of them and all that, like if you're a side character or if you're like, say like the Shinsengumi or something like that, you get just like, just all the attention and you're a fucking badass and those part and like, you're pretty much at that point part of the main cast and all that, how some of those characters became for a while and they are amazing and all that, but like when you get to see some old faces that you hadn't seen and like, you see some really sick, like, there's been some tragic stuff and all that, like people have been sacrificing their lives like sort of like, to pull out this final eye to stop Utsuro, like you've been seeing like what Tama did and all that with say with like Kintoki, like you had stuff like that going on and like, how everyone is uniting and like going against like a bunch of like these uh, like uh, to trying to stop the whole Altana plan and the dragon veins like it's just been complete madness for the most part and only recently now like and all that with like you know we get Umibozu coming back we've got Kagura and like, like all of them were teaming up for a while trying to go like that and we finally have like a thing that may be able to stop Utsuro and we've got the dragon veins activating and it's now seemingly up to Gintoki to deal with this situation now because it felt like it has been a while since that this whole thing kind of started and I was like, expecting maybe like middle of this year for it to end but considering that we're now like ca uh, like getting into like October like if you think about that how long that this arc has been going on I believe this was even announced like maybe around about like 2016 that it was going to be ending and then it just kept going on and on and on and it's like and I feel like what kind of happened is that not only did the series just like it really hit stride a, like a long time ago and all that whereas like it got a lot more popular but I think as well like Sirachi was like if they don't want me to end it and I can take my time with it I'm gonna give everyone everyone needs to their time to shine and that's just the joy of this arc is that you it's more of a celebration of Yintama and everything that the journey and all that you know like it's all of it and all that like you think about every single part of the series and all that it's like oh yeah i remember that guy he was hilarious or that bit that was emotional that's what this arc has done for like i fully respect that for it. but i will say the biggest criticism on this arc and all that is that it has been a bit slow paced 
and I do love some of these characters. I don't think every single character needed that much time and attention. We've been having, like, also as well, that guy on the spaceship that was, like, trying to do it because his, like, loved one got blown up. And then we had this really badass moment with Takasugi and a bunch of the other characters as well. And that shitty Shogun that kind of redeemed us. You've got so many characters. Like, we're talking about, like, how many characters at this point? Around, like, 60. We're talking about 60 plus and, like... You're trying to give all of them something to do and all that. Like, even Takasuki's men like that, like, are getting something, like, is absolutely insane. And if you're not caught up, it is so hard to describe through a lot of this. Because it is clear madness, and that's exactly what this is and what the series is in general. It's just clear madness. Everyone's getting the time. And I feel like this gets animated, this is going to be amazing. And all that, seeing all that, and it will take away every single like sort of like issue that i have with it but it's still enjoyable there's still such great content and now even with our recent chapters we're talking about characters like sada haru might even potentially have like some serious shit happen to them where like you have the exodus coming back and like this real tragic thing it's like like we're losing all this energy and the spirituality in this world and all that and that means like sada haru could be like disappear or die and it's like Yo, if you kill us at Haru and all that, that, then we're going to be having problems and all that. We're going to be having some serious issues on there. Like, because that sounds like it's going to be really depressing as hell and all that if we try and do stuff like that. But after all that and all that, it's like we're finally, finally revving up to the one thing I really want to see and all that. And it's with my favorite character after everyone like that's in the series and all that. At the end of the day, I fucking love Gintoki. Gintoki's one of my, fa he's my favorite shonen character out of everyone in, like, fucking Jump and all that. And it's... One of the main reasons why I think Kintama is, like, better than anything else that's in that magazine. And to see him finally, like, fully prepared, fully ready to deal with that demon after he's been questioning himself throughout this entire arc and throughout every time he's seen Utsuro, where it's like, can I do this? Can I kill my, ma like, my master? Like, still there, even though it's an empty shell of him, that's still technically him there. Like, he's finally got that, like, like will to finally move on. And he's like, I need to do this and save everyone that he cares for and all that. Like, even with everything that he taught him and all that, he, like, respects it and he knows it. But at the end of the day, he's got to push forward and all that. He can't always be looking at the past. And that's something that gintoki has been doing throughout the entire journey where he's been using like shimpachi kagura and all the other people and all that to ignore the past so he can just look forward and every time something always tries to pull him back to his past and all that he always ends up getting everyone else dragged into the mess with him and it's it's honestly been great and all that i still consider some of my favorite material out of the entire series is like when takasugi and Toki finally clashed and they had like i still think the shogun assassination arc like everything with that it's just just sheer just fantastic just just absolutely beautiful i love all of that stuff going into it and there's still my favorite parts of like gintama and the yeah, like i said i'm looking forward to it. like i'm glad the anime is finally like adapting some of the stuff that i really want to see for the longest time and glad they're doing some of those uh, like comedy arcs and it's weird we've got gintama on one side that's just doing all the comedy right now and then uh, we've got the gintama on the other side that's mainly just been serious action with a slight bit of comedy but at the end of the day i want to see what you guys think about it. at the end of the day what do you think about gintama and all that are you still loving it the way that you did and all that do you think and all that it has been a little bit slow for the most part i think around about like i'm gonna start talking about the manga again soon and all that but i'll have to find a lot of time for that it's the same thing where it's like where other shows are ending and mangas are ending, like like Magi and all that and i kind of want to talk about them for at least their last chapters and like definitely most notable moments and all that so if there's like a chapter i just need to talk about and all that that'll definitely be there for Gintar and all that and like it's just always respect. just because i'm not talking about it doesn't mean that i have no interest in it anymore i'll always love Gintama and it'll always be there and I'll always remember and all that. So, you guys, if you haven't seen any Gintama already, just see some Gintama. Watch the anime. Read the manga. You've got so many choices and all that. Anime is fantastic. Manga is great. All of them fantastic. Personally, I say go with the anime. If you're cute, still not sure where to start and all that, just try the first movie. The first movie is a great introduction to the series. Like, on there. Like, and just movie two. I've rewatched the second movie forever. You're a uh, so many times. I've watched it about eight, nine times like already. And it's still one of the best fucking movies. I love that thing to death and all that. So, all for me, and I'll see you guys, though, next time.